When you come to CES 2023 Eureka Park, this is truly a fixture of the convention. And what makes it important is this captures really the spirit of the show, of innovation. We have startups from all over around the world, hundreds of booths focusing on completely different areas. There's really so much charm and so much innovation to find here. So you know what? I'm just gonna go hunt it. Keyboards obviously kind of had a resurgence in all the craze. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? The Naya Create, this is Moritz, one of the co-founders. would love to hear, like, what, what are we looking at? We're making the all-in-one keyboard for digital creatives in the 21st century. We have brought together the professional devices that we need for CAD engineering, video editing, photo editing, um, and brought them into an ergonomics keyboard. A keyboard that will allow you to stay healthy while you create all of the content in the 21st century. Now, see, for someone like me who creates content, Endlessly, um, I love the fact of this ergonomics. Can you show me? You, you showed me like sure. you're, you're able to pop out components or explain yeah, what we absolutely. have. Absolutely. So everything here is fully modular. All of the modules can be taken in and out of the keyboard. So we have dials, trackpads, so 3D good. navigation devices, a trackball, and you can put them into any side you want. You just take these pins, align them, they snap in magnetically, and then you have a replacement for your mouse or for your 3D connection device, and you don't need to switch to a separate device to use these things. And this, like you said, this is a 3D navigator, so a yeah. cat. A CAD designer exactly. would, would want this and just uh, in, instantly pop it up. But then if I'm like, oh, maybe I want to go do some video editing, yeah, right, you can change that up. Yeah, you just switch this out, take a video editing device to scroll through a video timeline, yeah. or change your brush, change your video type, and click that in, and there you go. And then can you show me the ergonomics of it? Because I, I sure. was able to kind of fold up. So it is a fully split keyboard. We bring together the three core aspects of ergonomics. That is having a low profile board, one of the thinnest mechanical hot swappable keyboards, together with it being fully split. And then of course, the standard feature of tenting the keyboard. So by tenting it, you get a slight angle of your hands outward. And then when you need to take it with you, you just push it flat and take it with you. Wow. Um, when, when is this going to be available? This is amazing. Um, we will bring it to our crowdfunding um, in April and then later this year you'll get it into your hands. And do you have you announced pricing yet? So we're currently running an early registration on our website okay. under naya.tech for 399 for the keyboard and the modules are separate. Oh, amazing. All right. Well, thank you, Morris. This is really killer. I love it. Right. Glad you like it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank Thanks you. for the interview. Have a good time. All right, we found Magpie Tech, and they have a health tracker for kids, I guess, ecosystem. It's called Kiko, yeah. and I'm here with Lucas. Lucas, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you, for, thank you so much. Yes, uh, we'd love to hear what these products are and, and what what you're doing to kind of put this all together. Yeah, uh, this product called Kiko, and it's a um, health tracker for kids at home, and it comes with the laser height measures and the smart scale and then applications. And it can modernize the way to parents to manage and to measure their children's health. So these laser height measures is emits a laser here from the here. Okay. And then if I'll be your kid here. So yeah, you put it on your yeah, okay, yeah. head. Yeah. If the parents to put the device on the head and by okay. clicking, it measures the height within a second. And then with this smart scale, parents can measure eight body compositions. Eight? Yeah, wow. like weight, mineral, visceral fat, and fat, bone mass. Fat, bone mass, yeah, okay. Yeah, and muscles as well. Okay. So, and then all the data go to the applications. We can check the height and weight, and also people can see the chart. So by the each compositions. I'm gonna be real with you. When I was younger, they were uh -huh. like, they, my parents were tracking my health because yeah. they thought I'd be a little shorter and they were, thinking, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. we do growth hormone, yeah. and I didn't, but that they were saying, oh, you're in this percentile of uh, young adults, you're in this percentile, so something like this, they, instead of going to the doctors all the time, they can yeah. track that at home, right? Yeah, exactly. Is that one yeah. way to use it? Yes, right. When they meet, meet the doctors or when they did some some vaccinations, okay, and then it makes the parents can manage their uh, yeah. children's health totally with this app. The parents can make their own image-based diary. And then also this app, the issue weekly and monthly reports. So it makes the children to keep eye on their children's health. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is great. And then this kind of the fun colors makes it more appealing yes, right, to young yeah. people, right? There's a charm to it. This is really yes, cool. Yes, right, yeah. thank All you. Right. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, Lucas. Yeah, thank you so much. That's thank great, you. thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I, I walk around all these different booths and sometimes you might smell something. And that's what we're here. We got Iroma Sense. Get it? Iroma Sense. But I'm mean, joined with Avner here. And what is this product and what are you guys trying to do here? Okay, so this product actually diffuses scents. It contains 45 different scents inside. It's a very small container, but contains 45. And we have a variety of applications. So one of the applications is a scented movie. Now, when I said scented movie, it might be in a movie theater, okay. might be at home, might be video games, everything that has a screen practically. So that's one application. Another one is for education. It's, imagine yourself that you're in a, a museum or a teacher teaching something Smell is the longest, the longest sense in the human being. So you know you can learn it and then remember it for long term. Yeah, it bonds your to your brain. You know with smell. Yeah, yeah I correct. Yeah, and the retail. That's one very important one. Today, when you go to buy aftershave or eau de toilette, whatever, in no time you're full of smells, right? And then you lost control. You have no idea what you're going to buy, and eventually you walk away, and that's not good. Besides. So many fragrances in the store require a lot of real estate, which costs money. And people still, that's another problem. This device, this application actually covers everything. In less than two minutes, we have a wizard that asks you, walks you through a variety of questions. Okay. And then based on your answers, your preferences, so completely objective, the device will tell you what is the best suitable item for you which is available in, the, in, in this particular store. Yeah, like the cologne, like a cologne. For example, like yeah. Cologne. yeah. Um, so the, the conversion ratio increase. I have a question. So you said 45 cents right yeah. now. So are there, are there like oil chambers in here? What's inside? Uh, let, me, let me show you. Yes. So this is, actually the, uh, this is actually the container. We call it a drum. So you see here 45 different uh, chambers. Each chamber has a different uh, fragrance and it's refillable so you are green as well okay and to replace it takes less than a minute literally so it's very convenient there is a very powerful battery in here so it's battery operated and you have to recharge every two weeks or something like that so very user-friendly as well so with these 45 chambers right I've got to imagine it's emitting some of these in combination to create Different smells. No, 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 no. Each each scent by itself. So, oh, okay. for example, for the retail. Oh yeah, it'd be so forty-five different real colognes. One. Like exactly. Forty-five different colognes, yeah. and then you and the real out. one. Yes, yes. Oh, very good, very yeah. good. So, um, is this product out um in the market today, right now in Israel? We are actually starting okay. the commercialization. We are in a pilot in Japan, and uh, we are going to uh, start other pilots in other countries, and uh, hopefully the first quarter. We will start also selling, mainly also in the uh, ed in the uh, education field. So we are at the beginning. Well, you know what? That's why you're here, right? When you come Absolutely. to CES, you have a product. It's just coming out. You're you're getting that distribution. You're meeting companies and people. So to me, you know, you you are the essence of CES coming here. So I wish and you all the best. And not only that, but also we are talking about exposure. Yes, yes. Show me, look how many people are coming look, here. Look, exposure, <laughs> exposure. Yeah, exposure. All yeah. right. Thank you very much, Abner. Thank you, Brian. Right. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. We are here at Cradle, and I saw this device. I heard music coming from it, but in a different way. So Jack is gonna tell us, uh, what exactly is this, my man? Hi, um, well, the Cradle is a device to communicate, to help uh, two people connect in a more impactful way. Why we do this is because we want to come back social isolation. Now, one out of four people 65 and older are socially isolated in the worldwide. And with this device, we offer another way of communicating to lower that. And so, I'd love to for you to show down because it is really fun, but there's deeper therapeutic yeah. me meaning behind it. But yeah. um, how does this actually work? So, uh, this product is, for instance, let's think about um, a, a man or a woman who used to play piano. And uh, because of age or arthritis or Alzheimer, they lost the facility to do that. So. Uh, and if they have Alzheimer, they also lost speech, for instance. So with somebody like a family member, they're a bit, are, their backs are against the wall. So what do you do? How do you engage? Now, you can experience this. Yeah. Like, we can play music together. If you put your hand there. Just put it right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll put my hand. Okay. So what about physical contact? Yeah. May I touch you? Of course yes. you can. This is the 
Is that possible? Wait, can I touch your nose? Is that possible? Wait, look, can I try? Sure, sure. Okay, so put your hand out, yeah. Jack. Yeah. This is, you know, fascinating and obviously fun to play with, but there are deeper, you know, reasons for this. So, yeah. um, and like you said with family members, how, how can it help with therapy? Like you said, create bonds and connections? Yeah, because, um, you know, when you're, when you're in your sort of sunken state in the Alzheimer, for instance, it just goes deeper. So when you're trying to get them activated, and a lot of times actually for the family members, it's actually like they have nowhere else to turn. You know, this is a way to actually, in a way, contribute to their well-being and to, to, to get them activated. And in the activation process, you can see, I mean, we have clients from Singapore, for instance, who after one or two weeks of playing, a person who doesn't speak often anymore started speaking again. Wow. And through, uh, for also, for instance, like empowerment of identity. If you can identify, oh, what do I hear? You start talking and they identify, oh, this is a bird, I used to know this. They feel empowered. So this is this way of interaction. In Holland, as well, we're a Dutch company, uh, there's about 1,500 care homes wow. that have our instruments. And so it ranges from autism, spectrum, and mentally handicapped, also the visually impaired, and also dementia patients. So we have it in the nursing homes. So. All right, thank you so much. That was that was, that was fun, but hey, it really meant. Nice. And then, like, thanks, yeah. thanks for you know, yeah, sure. playing along, but yeah, also yeah. You know, we want to really be serious about it too. Yeah, so. thanks, Jack. Yeah, <laughs> thank uh, you very much. You're welcome. Oh, this. <laughs> Not all tech is for humans here. We obviously love our pets, and I'm here at Kippy with Sylvia, and um, she just told me the name of this product is the Kippy Cat. Get 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 it, Kippy Cat. Okay, I <laughs> love it, I love it. So, can you tell me what this is? So, this is a GPS and activity monitor for uh, cats, of course. Uh, it is ergonomic and really lightweight, so it was created and designed for cats. It has a fast detachment system, activating within a kind of five kilograms of force, uh, in case uh, the cats get stuck uh, in bushes or anything. And uh, you can control it from the app, uh, the Kippy app uh, available for iOS and Android. So this is showing if this was this would be the location of our cat. Yeah, exactly. And there are can I touch it? Yeah, yeah, of course. There are all the functions in here. So the geofence uh, where you receive a notification once the cat ex exit the design area, and the virtual leash, uh, the blinking light, and the uh, sound recall. Uh, so you can find cat uh, even uh, nighttime or uh, hidden places. And there is the activity section, uh, which uh, this is a beta testing right now. And uh, in the feature, uh, most important feature is the health rate, which is a score uh, in, an, in an overview of all the activities the cat performs. Uh, and it gives you the general state of health of the cat. So uh, if your cat uh, has a, a, a below the average activity, uh, such as uh, low grooming, uh, you will get a notification uh, saying, hey, your cat uh, is uh, drinking too much, eating too low. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like Garfield eating lasagna, like he just gives a fat cat. He just sits there doing nothing. You're like, hey, get up on your butt, right? Yeah, but the algorithm is uh, based, uh, based on its own cat. So oh. it will gather data day by day. And if your cat eats a lot, Every day, it will say it's normal for us, so it's ordinary to eat <laughs> now, a lot. Um, is this available right now that you are based in Italy or is, is coming out? Yeah, it's coming out the uh, first quarter of 2023 in US and Europe. And uh, yes, there is just production there. Also, another fun thing is the so integrated social media for pets. Now it's uh, <laughs> connecting because uh, Wi-Fi is a bit slow, but uh, you can also post uh, your pictures. Uh, and, oh, you uh, can post chat pictures as yeah, well. Yeah, you can chat with our pet owners. Uh, it's an internal community of pet lovers. Do you do you know what a cat says when they're hurting? Uh, yeah, also they... No, no, I'm asking, do you know what a cat says when they're hurting? H hurting? Yeah, you know, you know what they, they say? Uh, me ouch. Ah, okay, that was uh, funny. Okay, yeah. It, it must have not been that funny, huh? It's kind of the office. Uh, yeah, sorry, but... sorry about that. But we, yeah. lo we love the product. We love the product. <laughs> Kippy Cat!